Hello, this is Sebastian from Native Instruments. In this video, we are going to explain the basic concepts of Tractor's Controller Manager. If you wish to view examples on how to map a tractor controller or third-party controller, please consult the corresponding videos linked in the About section of this video. The Controller Manager is part of the Tractor Preferences. It is the place to create, edit, import and export controller mappings. A controller mapping establishes a relationship between the control elements such as knobs, faders, buttons or encoders of your hardware controller and the functions of the tractor software. Each function of the software can be mapped to one or several control elements of the hardware controller. In the controller manager, a controller mapping is called device. This field selects a mapping from the list for editing. Click on it to view all available controller mappings in your tractor configuration. Each mapping in the list can be active or not, depending on the import and outport settings. The import and outport fields route the control data between the mapping and the physical device, your controller. Select the entries corresponding to the name of your controller for both the import and the outport. If you have connected more than one controller, make sure not to select all ports for any of your mappings as this may generate incorrect media information. If the name of your controller does not appear in the list of available ports, make sure it is correctly installed and connected to your computer. Please note that for some Native Instruments controllers you won't need to choose an outport as this is done automatically. Additionally, consult the manual of your controller to learn more about the naming of its MIDI ports. In some cases, manufacturers use generic terms instead of the controller name. If you want to temporarily deactivate a particular mapping, simply set its import and outport fields to none. Below the device field, you will find two buttons, Add and Edit. Add allows you to create a new mapping from scratch or import an existing mapping for your controller. You can create blank mappings for the computer keyboard or generic MIDI controllers, as well as empty or default mappings for controllers with enhanced integration, including our tractor control devices. Additionally, you can import pre-configured mappings for all tractor-ready controllers under Import TSI. Find out more about tractor-ready controllers and how to set them up in the corresponding article and video linked in the About section of this video. If you wish to import your custom mapping or non-tractor-ready mapping from a third party, choose Import Other. The file suffix for tractor mapping files is .tsi. Here, we are importing a customized mapping for a Machina controller and then assigning the in and out ports to Machina. If you are a Windows user, the Machina port will be named Machina Controller In or Out. The Edit menu allows you to rename, duplicate, export or delete existing mappings. The options at the bottom allow you to change the deck assignment for the entire mapping. For example, if specific functions in your mapping are set to control decks A and B, the option AB to CD We'll change them to DEX C and D. To rename a controller mapping, choose Edit Comment and enter a new name for the mapping. To duplicate an existing mapping, choose Edit, Duplicate. As you can see, the device list has now a duplicate of the mapping we have selected before. To export a mapping as a TSI file, choose Edit, Export, and enter a name for your mapping file. To delete a mapping, make sure you have the correct mapping selected under Device and then choose Edit, Delete. Choose Yes when Tractor asks you if you want to remove the device from the list. The device target sets the default target assignment for all your mapped controls unless you specify differently in the assignment section of the mapping details section below. We will cover that later. Modifier state is a visual aid to test your mapping modifier conditions. 
Modifiers allow you to access secondary assignments for a single control on your hardware controller, depending on the state of another control, for example a shift button. We will show you the use of modifiers in the videos that we have linked in the About section of this video. Now let's take a look at the assignment table. This is a place to create or edit the individual assignments for your mapping. An assignment is represented by a single line and is used as an instruction for Tractor to perform a certain function triggered by your controller. You can resize the window in order to see all columns. Each column in the assignment table shows a specific aspect of your assignments. The name of the function in Tractor, for example, will appear in the control. The other columns show various aspects of the assignment, most of which can be configured in the sections below the table. You can add new assignments to your mapping with the Add In and Add Out buttons. Add In adds an assignment of the type Input. That means the assigned tractor function will react to an incoming signal from your MIDI controller, for example when pressing a button. Add Out, on the other hand, adds an assignment of the type Output. That means the assigned tractor function sends out a status signal to the controller, which reflects the state of the function in tractor. In most cases, this is used to trigger LEDs and illuminate certain elements on a controller. Duplicate will create a copy of the selected assignment, while delete will remove the selected assignment. The device mapping section is the place to establish the connection between a specific tractor function and a control on your hardware controller, such as a button or a fader. In order to learn an assignment, select it and then click on Learn so that it's highlighted. Then trigger the corresponding control on your controller. Learn mode stays active until you press this button again. This allows you to assign several controls in one go. Do not forget to disable Learn when you are finished in order to avoid undesired assignments. This assignment can be done either manually by selecting the corresponding ID of the control or automatically via the Learn function. Here we are using Machina as a MIDI controller and the field next to Learn now displays the name of the MIDI message. In case you have a Native Instruments or HID controller, the field next to Learn has now changed to the ID of the mapped control. You can also reset your assignment anytime or add a comment to it, which can be useful for labeling individual assignments in a large mapping. The Mapping Details section deals with the most specific aspects of an assignment. Under Type of Controller, you can define what kind of control has been assigned to this function. This can be a button, fader, or an encoder. The interaction mode defines the way the function in Tractor responds to the input from the controller. Assignment defines the target section in Tractor for this specific assignment. This is important since many functions in Tractor are available for each deck or FX panel individually. We have now covered all the basic functions of Tractor's Controller Manager. Find out more about mapping specific controllers in the corresponding videos linked in the About section of this video.